Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for February 22nd of 2023, well, it is titled Our Increasingly Active Sun. So what do we see here? Well, this is an image of the sun taken in the light of hydrogen. Now hydrogen makes up the vast majority of the atoms within the sun 90% of the atoms in our sun are hydrogen. So pretty much we are looking at a big ball of hydrogen. And down in the core which we cannot see is where the nuclear reactions are going on that powers the sun and creates all of the energy. That is the very central portion of the sun and that's where the temperatures are hot enough for hydrogen to be able to fuse into helium. So that does not happen in the portion of the sun that we see the sun that portion is far too cool nowhere near the temperatures needed to sustain nuclear reactions like that. However, all of the activity that we see on the surface is a result of what is going on in the interior. And that includes the sun's magnetic field. So the sun's magnetic field gets all twisted and tangled up. And that gives the sun a cycle of 11 years where sunspots and solar activity rises and falls. So just a couple years ago, we were at a solar minimum where we would hardly ever see sunspots or other signs of solar activity. Now we are approaching a maximum which we should reach in a couple of years and the sun will be even more active. So here we see some of those regions on the sun shaped by the sun's magnetic field. The brighter areas around the surface of the sun are long filaments, which are actually prominences that we are looking at against the face of the sun. So we can also see them around the edges of the sun silhouetted against the darkness of space. And those are material being pushed off the surface of the sun by the magnetic field. So the magnetic field gets twisted and tangled and it will lift some of that material up and energize it and it will rain back down onto the sun in a thousands of degree plasma rain falling back onto the surface of the sun. Now if you get a very intense of prominence it can actually be expelled off the sun in a solar flare and both prominences and flares as well as other signs of solar activity such as sunspots will continue as the sun's magnetic field continues to get more and more complex over the coming years. So while we expect that solar activity will increase as we head towards solar maximum the exact level of the activity is something that we do not know. And that means it could be very a very active uh, sun after coming out of a very low minimum with very little activity. Or it could be a very, a very, very active sun with lots of sunspots, lots of solar flare activity. However, it is not something that can be predicted. Sometimes we get very intense solar maxima and sometimes they are much less intense. So we'll just have to watch over the coming years to see how active our sun will be for the as it as it works on this next cycle. So that was our picture of the day for February 22nd of 2023. It was titled our increasingly active sun. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. So until then, have a great day everyone, and I will see you in class.